Welcome to Tech Tuesday. This is Calvin Jones with the Park Tool Company. Today we're going to look at rotor lock rings. These need to be properly secured and the torque value is often given right lasered on the lock ring. You can use a hand wrench and perceived effort to try and tighten that correctly. But the BBT69 is the same bottom bracket tool that fits the threaded bottom brackets shares the same pattern and the same fitting as these rotor lock rings. We can use the TW6, dial up our 40 Newton meters, come to our lock ring, and get it properly secure. The BBT69, not just for bottom brackets. See you next time. Yeah, that's a good look. Hey Calvin, what you up to here? Oh, just checking out episode one of Tech Tuesday. Tuesday. You know, that we're up to 200 episodes now. Really? Time sure does fly. Out of that batch, do you have any favorites? Well, there was this one time. On most rides, we're going to encounter more than just rocky terrain. So let's move over here to this small jump. I land at an angle just to test how resilient the pressure is to burping. After a couple tries, I got a burp. This was at 25 PSI. On the next run, we did it again. And here you can actually see the tire fold over and the rim impacts the ground. That was a fun one, Truman. Hey, how about that one where it was you and I working on bikes? Drip some light oil underneath the head, hopefully to penetrate down into those threads to free them. That's not helping. Another thing that you can try is some mild heat. Ben, I said mild heat. Ah, uh, some mild heat, Ben. That's what we need. Hmm. Yeah, but Truman, you, you sure look different now. What's up That's with that? That was Ben. I'm Truman. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, but that's that other time that we were working on bike. How oh. about that one? Man, all this wheel work makes me hungry, Ben. Are you hungry? You know me, Calvin. I'm always hungry. What are you hungry for, Ben? Tacos. Whoa! The infamous taco. <laughs> yeah, you and me, Truman, that was a good time. That was a good day. But that wasn't me again, Calvin. Well, it, that was just test. That was just a test drive, if you're paying attention. But, but this other time, yeah. This one for sure, you and me, working on bikes. Sea Otter here. I've come out of the Pacific Ocean to talk about tools. I carry a rock under my pit, and I use it as an anvil to pound the crabs on my chest. I didn't get that right, did I, Jeremy? Not even close, Calvin. But in this gig, we've got to wear a lot of hats. Or even costumes. Calvin Jones here, Park Tool Company. Truman with the Park Tool Company. I've got my pocket protector, my horn rim glasses. I've got the TM1. I'm calling up the WTA wheel tension app from parktool.com for this week's Tech Tuesday. Hey, Cal, could you unlock the shop door? I'm sorry, Truman. I'm afraid I can't do that. Or visit the repair help area of parktool.com. Well, that doesn't sound so scary. <laughs> ghost! Wait a minute, that's no ghost. Truman! Thanks, where was it? Upstairs next to my hockey mask. Okay, Hawkins, do it again. That wasn't fast enough. Uh, Truman, it's been a lot of fun, and that's been great, but are we getting all lost? Are, are we not educating? Are we not putting forward some, some points and some technical information? Sure we have, Calvin. Remember the time when we taught that person? We spin the wheel and look for our worst lateral deviation, the worst wobble. It seems to be right through here. Come to the opposite side and try these two spokes. Squeeze. Oh, 
it seems to make it better. Yeah, or, or when the time when we taught everybody. Knock, knock. Who's there? We have some play in our hub. Time to fix the bike. We're at a high school mountain bike race and one of the riders has a loose hub. So the lock nut is loose. Hence, the cone comes loose. The extra space allows the hub to rock back and forth. So all we need to do on this wheel is hold the cone in its correct place and tighten down the loose lock nut. Fully closed. Knock, knock. Who's there? Nothing. And what about that time? Today, Truman and I are gonna avoid mixing DOT fluid and mineral oil. Brake manufacturers design their brakes for one of two types of fluids. Some brake manufacturers use DOT fluid. Or a manufacturer may use a mineral fluid. The point here is that you need to stick with the fluid that your brake system was designed for. That's important because the wrong fluid can ruin your braking and your day. Yeah, we have had some fun and we've done some education. Fungication! Yes. But the future, what does that hold for you, for me, and for Tech Tuesday? Well, I think the future is going to look a little bit like this. Well, Truman, I guess we really don't know what the future holds. Well, it is an ever-changing industry. I like to think of us as quickly adapting. I couldn't agree more, Truman. We try to be adaptive in these Tech Tuesdays and respond to you and share our technical knowledge. Share with us in the comments below what types of things you'd like to see in the next 200 Tech Tuesdays. Thanks for watching. Tech, Tech Tuesday. Tuesday.